Hi friends, our today's topic is boats and stream and boats and stream is one of the very important topic in quantitative aptitude. So let's understand the concept and try to solve few of the problems which frequently comes in our exam. So the concept behind boats and stream is in boats and stream basically you will have a stream and boats. The stream is also called as river or many places it will be also given as water right and there will be boat will be there. So river and boat will be moving either in the same direction or in the opposite direction. So there are the few terms which we have to keep in mind before solving the problem. So there will be one speed of boat, a speed of boat or a speed of man in a still water. Okay. So the boat and man speed is nothing but the speed of boat only because the man will be inside the boat or man will be sitting on the boat right so speed of boat or a speed of man in a still water means when the water is not moving so that time we assume it is u kilometer per hour and this is the standard notation which we are going to use if you will see many books rs agrawal and in on many other books this is a standard notation which we use even you can assume it is x kilometer per hour y kilometer per hour whatever you want right okay then a speed of river or a speed of a stream or a speed of water so in so in your question all the three terms will be mentioned river a stream or water so all those three things are exactly same so this will be denoted as v so a speed of river a stream and water is what v kilometer per hour right okay and then there will be up a stream and downstream so let's understand what is upstream and downstream so upstream will be denoted as b and downstream will be denoted as a so again this is a standard notation which we will be using across the boats and stream okay so what is upstream and what is downstream many students will be confused in upstream and downstream so let's understand it properly so downstream is so when the boat and the river or the stream is moving in the same direction downstream means when boat and river is moving in the same direction right okay so in that case what will be your downstream speed so suppose boat is moving right here boat is there boat is moving and in the same direction a stream is moving this is a stream so what will happen a stream will put force on boat and boat speed will increase right because a stream is in the same direction so a stream will put force on boat and boat will automatically move fast so in case of downstream when both are moving in the same direction then the speed will get added right and we are able to see from here so u plus v will be downstream speed in upstream speed upstream speed will be against so boat will move against the stream or against the river that means suppose if boat is moving in this direction and a stream is moving in the opposite direction then what will happen a stream will put force on boat and the boat speed will automatically decrease so which will be u minus v kilometer per hour so upstream speed will be u minus v kilometer per hour and downstream speed will be u plus v kilometer per hour so this is two terms which you have to keep in mind okay and then next will be a speed of boat we can calculate using downstream and upstream so a speed of boat u will be 1 by 2 into upstream speed plus downstream speed so 1 by 2 into what will be upstream speed so upstream speed will be a sorry b and downstream speed will be a so 1 by 2 into a plus b will be nothing but a speed of boat which you have to keep in mind and now a speed of river or a speed of a stream will be what 1 by 2 into downstream speed minus upstream speed which is nothing but 1 by 2 into a minus b so these are the two formulas which you have to keep in mind while calculating a speed of stream a speed of river and a speed of boat so this we can also write it 1 by 2 into a plus b so a speed of boat when upstream speed and downstream speed is given 
is equal to 1 by 2 into a plus b. A speed of river or a stream when the upstream speed or downstream speed is given, then 1 by 2 into a minus b, right? And downstream speed means both are moving in the same direction, then a speed will get added u plus v. And upstream speed means both are moving in the opposite direction, then the speed will be less u minus v kilometer per hour. So, let us solve one question. Question number 1 A man can row upstream at 7 km per hour. So, upstream is given how much? 7 km per hour. Upstream we denote with B. Downstream at 10 km per hour. So, downstream we denote at 10 km per hour, right? Okay. What they are asking is find man's rate in still water. So, man's rate is nothing but boat speed, both are same only, right? The speed of boat and the speed of man are same which is nothing but 1 by 2 into a plus b when upstream and downstream speed is given, right? So, 1 by 2 into 10 plus 7. So, 1 by 2 into 17 which is nothing but 8.5 kilometer per hour. This is what? This is nothing but my boat speed, right? So, find man's rate in steel water that we found and rate of current and then they are asking a speed of current. So, a speed of current when downstream and upstream is given 1 by 2 into a minus b. So, 1 by 2 into 10 minus 7 which is nothing but 3 by 2 which is nothing but 1.5 kilometer per hour, right? So, which option is true? So, option b is the correct answer for this question, right? Thanks for watching the video.